So this is part three of rules and regulations. Um, <coughs> this part is more for zoning than it is actually towards <coughs> directed toward the landlady or anything like that. Um, I spoke with Alex Gonzalez about two days ago on the phone, and what I got was a lot of politician bullcrap and you know backpedaling. It seems like they're on the job, but they're they're not on the job. They they're contacting her, but she's not answering her phone. There's blah blah blah. This is going on for four months now, and then he started talking about the roof out here. That's only only a porch roof. It doesn't structurally hold anything up, so it's not that pertinent that it gets fixed. Well, I. I uh, disagree 100% because if the fire breaks out here and I have to climb out onto that roof and I fall through, shoes are getting sued. So is she. This is bullshit. None of this should be going on. And it's not a matter of me hating it here, liking it here, hating her, disliking her. Me personally, I can't stand her because I think she's underhanded, sneaky, and a liar. Uh, that's personal. Now let's set that aside and go for the zoning and the criminal. She has uh, gotten people to harass me, gotten uh, attacked me herself personally uh, with some other slumlord and yada, yada, yada. Let's set that aside, the criminal part of it. She's not taking care of what she's supposed to be taking care of as a landlord. She's never shampooed these rugs. She's never got these inspection ready. Zoning knows that. They've been in this building. This building smells like a garbage dump. And it's and ninety percent of the smell is coming out of her apartment when she opens her doors out here. This door out here, or the two in her hallway, I can smell that she's out of her room. That's how I know she's coming. You can smell her coming. That's how bad the funk and the stink is here, and the mold smell. Now, zoning informed me also that they they don't handle mold. They don't know what to do about it. They don't. Well, who does? Obviously, you're a town council member, right, or, or on the board somewhere, right? You should know other people, like, you know, two desks over is the health department. Maybe they can direct you to the people that come in and test for mold. I don't know. Just throwing that up in the air to you in case you didn't know. Why don't you contact the police and tell them there's drug activity going on here and crimes being committed? Why don't you, oh, I don't know, you know, provide safe, clean environment for tenants in these buildings? Do your jobs, maybe. <laughs> Just an idea, silly idea, a little common sense there. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't mean to sound sarcastic, but my God, I've been on and off the phone with Charles Weller and, and this Alex Gonzalez, I don't know how many times, and here we sit with something living in the attic, the stove doesn't work, all these appliances look like they've been picked out of the garbage, do you understand what I mean? You go out and then you, and when this nut's home here next door to me here, you have to fist fight your way to the kitchen and bathroom or because he's such a fucking bully that he won't let you out there. This other guy is, is uh, playing games. He's filling up the garbage cans now and he's, and he's buying uh, glue traps and mouse deterrent things you plug into the wall. Great, we got rid of the mice for now. When he leaves, he takes them devices with him. What do we do then? That's not a, that's not a solution. That's a band-aid. And that's exactly what the roof gets from time to time, a fucking Band-Aid. Oh, let's patch it here. Let's patch it there. Oh, it stopped that leak. Okay, well, then we'll wait until, you know, the the winter contracts it, which, you know, uh, tar or anything on a roof contracts with the cold and then expands with the heat. When that does that, we're going to get another leak. So nobody fixed anything. They just patched it. Meanwhile, the hole is still in his ceiling, but they're taking care of it because they told me she's going to court and she's, she's getting, uh, you know, I forget how the word he used, but she's getting fined. Well, what's a fine going to do? She's going to pay off the fine and continue renting these nasty, funky fucking rooms out to people that have mice, bed bugs, road, road, I don't even want to call it a rodent. It sounds like a raccoon in the attic chewing stuff like a beaver. If he chews into the wiring and there's a fire, where do I go? I can't go out on the roof because it's structurally unsound, right? That's what you told me, but it's not a bear load bearing wall, so it doesn't matter if I fall through during a fire. Cut people, get some common sense, please.